that you would be. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in. This is episode 8 of our Spirit to Let's Play. As you can see, it's winter! Oh my goodness. Wow. It's beautiful. Fall definitely went very fast. I know. I know. Fall went very, very fast. Um... There's no excuse for that. I really should have taken it a little bit slower, but I was really just irritated and agitated <laughs> with Eric's quest, so. But yeah, I will take the seasons slower. I'll take the days slower. But look at this, wow. Okay, so we're gonna do Soda's quest. <laughs> Excuse me. We're gonna fix his sleepwalking issue. I do remember that Tara said that he sleepwalks around 2 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to go ahead and sleep until 2. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. I'm not exactly sure if this is the right thing. Oh, fuck. I'm not exactly sure if this is the right thing to do, but... Oh! The heater is going. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to catch him. And maybe, um... Maybe I'll be able to talk to him. Is he already gone? Okay, no, he's there. Okay, well, since he's here. Well, uh, well, damn. Okay. Well. Never mind, then. Yep, never mind. <laughs> I guess I'll just talk to him whenever. I'll try to talk to Tara at least. I could have sworn it said that she that, she, that he wanders around at seven a.m. A message from Faye. Hi, Anna. The cold weather has arrived in Stanville, and I couldn't help but think about you working away in that bathhouse bathhouse of yours. It can't be a very insulated building, so I wanted to give you a space heater to help you stay warm when you're thinking away. It should help keep the baths from icing over, though if that did happen, I suppose you, you could always break the ice with a shovel. Oh boy. Well, I did already buy a heater, because I figured I would need it. So, we're gonna put this one in here. We'll put it... Trying to think. Let's put it by my bed over here. Perfect. And then we'll get this other one. Remove that. And we'll go put it in the bathhouse. Oh, my shovel's on me. Okay, perfect. Yay! Let's go ahead and deposit this sea bag. And then. Um, Faye might be working. Okay, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> no, but seriously, somebody let me know what happened to my ducks. Because I do not appreciate this. Like, do they go away when certain seasons come around? Is that what it is? Because I haven't had any algae. I haven't had any of those issues, like, at all. Oh my god. Oh my goodness.
Whose kids? Okay, we got a lot going on. <laughs> we have a lot going on. Um. All right, Tara, where are you? You're still at the place. Soda is nowhere to be found. It's Moby. All right, let's go see if we can talk to Tara. Again. What is that on the ground over there? Famous girl. Oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe what happened to me. What is it? Okay, so get this. So I left the pension to go for a bit of a walk, and wham, out of nowhere, some freaking snowball blasts me in the side of my head. I looked around, but nobody was in sight. This is all near the school soccer field, by the way. Anyway, other than the dozen snowmen witnesses, nobody else seemed to see the crime that had just occurred. It was probably some snot-nosed kid. Sometimes I hate winter. Be careful of those nasty kids when you pass by the school soccer field. I want to get snowballed. <laughs> is that weird to say? Oh! Oh! Oh, what? What's going on over here? <laughs> what? What are the what? What are these things? <laughs> what? <laughs> what in the world? Wait, wait. I got. I got to get one of these guys. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Y'all want to play? Y'all want to play? I see how it is. I don't know. I'm like, how am I supposed to? Wow, they're everywhere. Are any of you spirits? Any of you jolly good fellow spirits? Oh, oh, I got knocked out. Soda, are you a grown man? I thought Soda was a kid. I don't know. Um, okay, well, I don't know what to do about that. So, we're gonna go to the bathhouse because I spent some money to get the left wing open. To get it open and cleared out. So, hopefully, it's she's done because she's out here, so... But then again, I don't really know. It should be done, though. Oh, there's the ice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we just have to place one near the bath. Um, I'll do it by this one. that work okay hopefully that'll work we'll see <gasps> yay okay let's go see oh <gasps> whoa oh wow so it's another bath. Oh, there's an upstairs. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, it connects over here. Oh, okay. So that might be how we. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's water. Interesting. Oh my gosh, what's this? Well, okay, we need to get this place cleaned up. I have to do that during a shift. All right, cool, 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 cool. What are you, a wasp, a bee? I don't know. Okay, let's check out Face Thing. Face Place. Somebody is slamming doors. Okay. So we need twelve thousand. Fifteen thousand, 
Six thousand. Oh, we can we can do the Lord bath. Okay, Wednesday, cool. Lord bath, and that's it. Okay, so let me do some math real quick just to see how much I need for in total. So twelve thousand plus fifteen thousand. Twenty seven thousand. Okay, twenty seven thousand isn't really I don't think that's gonna be that hard to, to reach. I wanna catch this bug. It's like a cool bug. Dang it! <laughs> I'm so bad at stuff. Tara! Mm. Dang, I don't really know what to do. Time to look it up then. Okay. I don't really understand why we would go talk to Faye about that, but okay. Let's go talk to Faye. Oh, they're back. Oh. Have you seen Tara recently? The last time I saw her, she got this big bruise on the side of her head. It really looked like it hurt. I asked her if she was attacked by someone, but she just kept muttering about stupid kids. Some stupid crow. Well, how was that a hint? The fuck? Oh, okay. Alright, I don't know if I've already gotten hit, but... Okay, whew. There we go. Alright. Oh, I don't know how I missed, but all right. Woo! Okay. Here we go. All right, all right. Super good at this. Oh, oh, Lord. Yep, got him, got him. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed again. Okay, all right. Who's next? Who's next? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Oh, oh my god, that was oh, oh, that was close. That was close. Yep, got you. Who's next? Who wants it? Yep, got you. Yep, got you. Who's next? Who is next? Yep, got you. Alright, this one over here in the bushes. Yep, got you. Alright, who's next? I think we got some guys up here. Oh, I suck at aiming. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yep. Nope. Oh. Bro, can I aim? Can I aim, please? Yay. Any others? Anybody else with the smoke? Anybody else? Is anybody else with the smoke? I did.
Okay, let's just ask about the sleepwalking man. I don't know who's active at night, are you joking? Girl. You gotta get right up close and personal with these snowmen. Yep, got you. Yep, got you. Oh! Oh! That was close, I'm not gonna lie. Oof! I don't know if I've gotten hit yet. Hopefully I haven't. Okay, I gotta go out, I gotta go out. How much more we got left? Okay. How many more? Just you? Just you? Oh, I'm about to say no! <laughs> I thought I failed. <laughs> wow, that is one persistent mortal. Defeat was not enough to stop them. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm a little impressed. Let me make an impression you won't be able to get out of your thick heads. Ah, oh, jeez. Stop, stop, I'm sorry. You two are going to stop messing with the mortals or I swear I'll flay you both. This fuzzy ball of anger look familiar. I think something's happening. Yeah, you're giving me a midlife crisis, that's what's happening. Is that you, Wanyan? Sir? I'm a... I'm Ben... Ben... Ben Tushi. Eh? You still don't remember? Come on, it's me, Ben Tushi. What is Ben Tushi? That's my name, you numbskull. Numbskull? Now that sounds familiar. Whoa, two and one! You two are hopeless. Oh, wow! Cool! How could I have forgotten? My name is Ticken. Or wait, was it Bantushi? Hmm. It's crazy. I'm Bantushi, you idiot. Shut up, both of you. Just please be quiet. Hey, it's Wanyan. Exactly, so you better be quiet unless you want to disappear forever. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Both of you stop messing with the mortals immediately and will instead spend your time earning their blessings. You will then bring on you will then bring any money earned to our bathhouse where you can leave it and take a quick bath. <laughs> where you can leave your money. Hmm, sounds alright to me. It wasn't an offer, it was an order. Y yes sir. Ugh, good. Now get out of here. We'll see you at the bathhouse. Ugh, those two were always so draining. Good work, Anna. What? Me getting praise from Wanyan? That's crazy. That is crazy indeed. Wow. Okay, perp. All right, well, I'm gonna go start a shift at the bathhouse because it is very much so needed. I need the money. Let's go rack up our money. Oh, it's radish. And, and Clarence. Be careful when you next chat with Quill. He's in quite the mood. Apparently, somebody's been pranking him whenever he goes to read at the beach. Good, somebody needs to prank that grouchy old man. Shoo. Okay, just kidding. I'm not starting to shift to the bathhouse because I forgot I had Faye to get the Lord bath. So we're gonna go talk to grumpy old Quill. It right, looks like he's at the bike shop. I actually need to see if I can, if I have enough money to get a bike. Wasn't it like 5,000?
I don't really remember. Anna, how nice to see you out in the open and not hiding beneath a shrub or tree or whatnot. <laughs> um, yes, here I am. Indeed, here you are. You wouldn't know anything about someone, oh, I don't know, spraying me with a water gun? When I was reading down by the western beach? I don't know who's responsible, but they'll be held to pay whenever I do find the culprit. And if you ever, you know, see anyone acting suspicious around the western beach in the evening, especially if they're near me, I'd appreciate it if you let me know. I'm like, can I, can I get a bike? Oh my god, it's 21? I thought it was only like 5,000. Okay, evening. Evening is about to be upon us. That's like 12, right? Oh my god, there's snowballs everywhere. I want to hit him with one. Oh, boo! Who can I hit with this snowball? It needs to be somebody who's already out here. Who's gonna get hit? Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna get the one two ball? Who is outside right now? Tifa, is it gonna be you? I'm sorry, girl. I just wanna see what happens. <laughs> I just, just wanna see what happens, Tifa, girl. I'm sorry, Tifa. I'm sorry, girl. Okay, I'll sleep until six, I think. What the heck? What the, did you see that in the top right corner? What was that about? Cause I was like, what is that munching sound? <gasps> why is somebody, why is the spirit draining my energy? Please, Onishi, you got something to do with it? Oh. Sandcastle. Let me, let me get my shovel. We've been spotted. Go, go, go. <laughs> what <are we> doing? <laughs> get away. Do I have to get my shovel still? Get back here. My spirit vision is about to go out. Look at him. Look at him. Ah! <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Get back here. Get back here. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Get back here. Dang it. There we go. Nice. What's your problem? Leave me alone. You're our problem, you dolt. I can't see him, guys, because I don't have no tea, but it's okay. Oh, jeez, you're a real killer with that thing. You want to see a killer? He's definitely hitting him. <laughs> Ouch, wait, I feel like I'm remembering something. Oof, no, it's gone now. Wait, who are you two? 
Stop it! I yield! I yield! I... I remember! I can do this all day. <laughs> oh, so cute! <laughs> Memories have been dislodged and are floating to the surface. It's all coming back to me now. I'm Gorgo. Gorgo, interesting. We still can't see him because we have no... no... <laughs> it's okay, guys. Gorgo, yes, I remember you. You always did have a mind for mischief. But you usually just played around with other spirits. What are you doing manifesting yourself into a sand castle and spraying humans? Wanyan, I haven't seen you in a very long time. And you're not in, in a position to judge. All the other spirits, the empty shrines, this is all your fault. My... my fault? The only thing that's going to be my fault is adding another mound to that thick skull of yours. Okay, okay. You always were so violent. Well, rounding up all the mischief... Well, rounding up all the mischievous spirits hasn't exactly put me in a good mood. Anyway, Ana here has been repairing the old abandoned bathhouse. You and your kind should spend some time there. You won't become lost again, I promise. Wow, that sounded almost kind. What a rare treat. <laughs> I will be there. And thank you for your kindness to a spirits, mortal. No problem, you know, just doing what I do. Hmm. Was she just dazed or... How is all of this my fault? Who knows, Wanyan, but I need some more tea. I need some more uh, tea leaves. I accidentally started um, the quest for Kim. So she's talking about her missing phone. So it's that commission. It's that commission that was on the board. So she's in the middle of talking about it. The crazy thing is when I get home from work, it's there sitting on my storage chest untouched. Crazy, huh? This is very strange, right? Thank you for, right? Thank you for listening. I could use an alarm clock, but I really, really hate alarm clock sounds. No, me too, girl. It's like they forever scarred my childhood. I need to do something though. Okay, so an alarm clock. We might be able to solve her. We might be able to get her quest done though, depending on if there's an alarm clock here. Mm. I just, it's just the, uh, honey deer mount, mount whisper. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Just got a Christmas tree from Sujin, and we also. We were also able to best friend Sujin and Sora, so Sora is helping out. No clue how we did it, but it's done. Let's go. Um. I'm like, I don't know where to put this. Let's put it smack dab in the middle of my room. <laughs> um.
we're gonna continue with Kim's quest. Gotta, we gotta be there for our best friend. So we got some uh, mail. Hey, Anna. Give me a shot the next time you wanna hang out. Don't keep a girl waiting. Are you, are you flirting with me? Let me know. All right, we're gonna talk to some of the other apartment residents to see if they've maybe heard something. What's Sujin? Where, where is the sun? I feel you, girl. Um, all right. Hopefully, it's still 8.30. A lot of these guys go out at... Where's Kim? So I think Kim is the very left, so we'll wait for these guys to see if they've heard anything. And I guess we're starting with, who is this? I think this is... This might be Eric? Oh god, man, I'm so bad with memory. There's something about this town duder. There's something about this town duder. Even newer buildings like my apartment seem to be haunted late at night. I wish I was a short sleeper. Okay. Gail, have you heard anything? Okay, you haven't heard nothing. Is there anybody else in here who's maybe heard anything? All right, no, everybody's gone. What is this? lives in the apartment hmm and it's Tuesday so we can't really do anything about soda's problem I guess we'll check the community board then Clarence we've been trying to talk to Clarence for the longest Missing workshop hammers. If found, if found, please contact Faye at the workshop. They look like worn out carpenter tools. All right, is Faye at her place? Let's go talk to Faye, see what this is about. Hi, Anna, you're looking as chipper as ever. I hope I don't put a damper on your mood. I would also not like that. <laughs> oh, so funny. Why, what's going on? No, no, it's nothing really, just... The thing is, someone's taken a couple of hammers from my workshop, and I can't think of who would have done it. It really bums me out thinking about someone breaking in here and... Wait, it wasn't you, was it? I'll never tell. <laughs> of course not. Right, of course. I'm sorry. I'm just getting paranoid thinking who might have done this. I just like my hammers back. They were passed down in my family for, I don't know, a really freaking long time. And I've somehow lost them. I just like my hammers back. Okay. Um. Who else is close to Faye that we could ask? Who is Faye normally hanging out with? I really don't know. Tara? Where is Tara right now? Okay, she's down there. Tara! Have you talked to Faye lately? She seemed upset about something, but wouldn't tell me. 
Maybe she'll tell you, and then you can tell me. I saw this really slow shooting star the other night. It was super strange. It had these flashing green and red lights, too. Okay, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Girl. Okay, there's her phone. You very much so clearly see her phone. Okay, 150. I, it feels so wrong to just be in here. <laughs> to just be able to walk in people's houses, but Kim is our, I think Kim is our first best friend, so we're good. All right, that phone is still there. Mm, mm. Oh, did you see that? What was that spirit doing here? Whatever the case, she spooked it. We'll have to hide ourselves better next time. Are you joking? How am I supposed to hide? Where am I hiding? In the bathroom? Like what? Girl. Well, well, well. Aren't you the clever one? Who? Show yourself. Why, it's me. What? Can't you see me? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who the heck this person is, Anna, but they seem to be possessed by spirit. And an annoying one at that. Ah, you're as sharp as ever, Wanyan. Though you weren't looking so hot prior to this. Mortal moving into town. Now, now, before you threaten to beat me with that dingy old coin of yours, I must inform you that I do, in fact, mean you no harm or hassle. You know an awful lot. Who are you? You don't seem lost to me. That's because... I most certainly am not lost. How could I lose myself when there's always money to be made? So, <laughs> Ruko, I should have known. You always were a hardy one. I seem to recall that even my hefty coin couldn't sway you from your stubborn ways. You say stubborn, I say motivated. What are you doing with this mortal? At least I assume it's a mortal under there. Ah, this one has volunteered to help me out on Sunday mornings. Now before you get your fur in a knot, I'd be remiss to leave out the part where together we run a secret shop on the mountain where you can find one-of-a-kind goods. What kind of goods? And how exactly did this mortal volunteer? Goods that are invaluable to you two. I know of your little mission to guide spirits back to their former selves. I get it. I, of all spirits, know the value of good customers, and I happen to overhear this mortal complaining about money problems. Generous spirits that I am, I leave them a cut of the profits earned while borrowing the body. It's win-win. Honestly, Anna, it doesn't sound like he's doing much harm. I've known Ruko for some time, and he's never showed any signs of being cruel or unfair. He's probably less violent than me. Not probably. Anyway, we'll leave you to it, so long as you stop by the bathhouse and share some of your profits with us. Either that, or we'll find a way to be a constant on your side, in ways that might just disrupt business. <laughs> I'd expect no less from the meddling humanity himself. Very well, I will visit your establishment so long as you visit mine. Deal. Now then, I'll be on my way. Have a most pleasant night. Yeah, I hate that guy. Manatee.
that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye